Stalker 1-0, this is Stalker 1-1. Status report, over. Stalker 1-1, this is Stalker 1-0. Leaving Manhattan, entering Brooklyn Battery Tunnel now. Over. What's up YouTube, it is White Wolf NLD here and today I got a new game named Murdered Soul Suspect. I thought it would be fun to try and play this game while well, you guys can see the gameplay, maybe decide if you want it or not, and yeah, well, let's see how far we can get. I have absolutely no idea where this is headed, so... A serial killer is terrorizing the normally sleepy streets of Salem. This crude sign of a bell has been left at the scene of several murders Leading over the past few weeks. police to refer to the murderer weeks. as the Bell Killer. We spoke with a public relations officer. Authorities are asking anyone with any leads to contact this the SPD's anonymous tip line. This picture of a bell, the calling card the police have yet to attach no any meaning or significance to, to has become follow. synonymous and with no the hysteria surrounding his victims. murders. You're saying there are no leads? No leads at all? Oh, that is interesting. Grow up on the streets. You start thinking you're invincible. Nothing can touch you. You never really lose. Go to arrest some freak? Find out you aren't as invincible as you thought. What kind of name is Ronan? That kid stole my wallet! Time to make it official. Ah, it hurts! You steal my car, you pay the price! Ah. Under arrest for the assault and battery, Vincent Golter. Guilty on two counts of grand theft auto. On the indictment of burglary. Grand larceny and assault with a deadly weapon. Oh. Looks like our main character has been very busy. Let me take it. <laughs> I can't have my sister marrying some bum, right? They do. Oh, yeah, I do. No. No, Julian. Stay with me, you hear me? Julia. No, stay with me. Stay with me. Your family wore felonies like badges of honor. Now you think this new badge covers all that up? You're a fucking criminal. Well, he's someone that doesn't like us. You need to slow down, man. Right? This is crazy. I didn't know better. So you actually want to die. Turn around. You're under arrest. <gasps> you down and kick your ass. I already love this guy. It's my kind of dude. Damn it. Nah, ain't even moving. It's stuck. Watch it, lady. No. No. No, no, no. Dead or unconscious? 
Unconscious, it looks like. I'm still alive. I can fix it. If I just get back in my body, then maybe, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll wake up. Someone had to hear that glass shatter. Head towards the light. Ronan? I can see the light. I can see the light. Hello. Ronan? I can't believe it. I can't believe I found you. Oh my god. Julia. I'd never see you again. You look good. <laughs> I look better. God, I've missed you. Well, that must I be his wife. I would anything to be there with you. For us to be together again, but... But what? No. Oh, no, no, not again. Not you. If you're not here, where are you? It's the other side of the bridge. Bridge? What, what bridge? Where you are is a prison. Or a bridge. It all depends on how you see it. Either way, where you are isn't safe. Do you hear me? We need to get you across the bridge. You need to move on. Move on? Is that where you are? Don't worry about me. Something about your life isn't finished yet. We don't have much time. Think. What about your life feels unresolved? I don't know. <laughs> Figure that out. Now go. No. Julia, you left me once and it destroyed me. Please, please don't leave me again. We'll see each other again, love. Just save yourself. No, no, no Julia! Don't leave me, Julia! Damn it! Hello? There's a man in the street outside the Regal Apartments bleeding. He's been shot. Send an ambulance. He's not breathing. My friend says he's not breathing. I can't feel a pulse. There's broken glass everywhere and, and a lot oh, of blood. Man. This is bad. Yeah, I'll stay on the line until help arrives. Hey, man. Can you hear me? <laughs> I don't think so. Lady, please! Damn So it. far, the story seems pretty well. Hi. 
Hey, you. Hey, can you hear me? Come back. Follow the ghost girl. Why did you run? It gets old, giving counsel to the new ones. Don't take it personal. Running through walls, making things appear. You, you look like you've been here a while. You must know how this place works then. <laughs> works? This place isn't hard to understand. Figure out your gifts and maybe you won't get trapped here. What do you mean gifts? Your strengths in life are stronger in death. They become powers here. Some power is unique, some common. Possession, influencing people, manipulating so the more fragile of those intriguing. objects to appear or disappear. Strengths become abilities. door just hit me, but I'm passing through other stuff. What is it with this place? I thought I'd be able to walk through everything. We can't enter the buildings the people of Salem have consecrated. Save through an opening. An open drawer, or a window. But once inside, walls and doors hold no power over us. You'll know the ghostly objects we can't pass through by their blue glow. It will all seem logical in due time. That's good. Who are you? <clears throat> Looks like you've been here a while. Me? I'm just someone like you. But hear me when I say this is no playground. You can rob yourself of your future, or others can do it for you. What do you mean, others can steal my future? Demons. They were once like us, but lost themselves. They can never move on now, and exist only to consume those lingering here. Those like us. I getcha. No, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. How could I rob my own future? You're here to resolve something. You don't resolve it, you don't leave. Don't worry, that's pretty common. Common? That's crazy. So, I need to figure out who killed me and stop him. That's the way I can get out of here. Well, best of luck to you. Wait, 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 wait. there's more I need to know. Be careful out there. You never know what's waiting around the corner. Weird. I guess that means don't walk over there. I got a lot of clues. I guess I'm heading to my crime scene Seeing now. your own yeah. body lying on the street. It's like looking in a mirror you don't want to see but can't turn away from. And that's when you realize you no longer know which one's real 
And which is the reflection? Great idea, Baxter. Tamper with the evidence. Backup. Who needs backup? <laughs> you shouldn't have tried to be one of us. <laughs> Man, you were one dumb son of a bitch. <clears throat> Sir? Hey, 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 Baxter, oh, hey! Boy, is he mad. Hey, just get back to taking him statements. Come on. Yeah, I'm the stupid one. Look, this is not your scene, Lieutenant. Just pay your specs and move on, please. Yeah. Maybe it's not my scene. But it is my case. Tomorrow it'll be my case. And the next day. Until we catch him. You do well to remember that, Sergeant. Look, I'm just following Captain's orders here. You know the procedure when a family member is... Yeah, well... Take all the time you need, LT. I lost count of the times I wished you were dead. Do me a favor, con man. Tell Julie I miss her. She knows, Rex. She knows. I need to find my killer's trail before it goes cold. Cool, we can start investigating. Get my eyes yeah, I try not to talk that much for cutscenes. See what they've learned. The story keeps very clear. The man in the wood? Yes. No, I saw him. He killed that man in the street. Our city. Look at all these people. He's got family. It'd be nice to know what they're talking about. I gotta see if they found any leads that I don't already know about. Clues here have got to tell me something. Well, I guess we're investigating now. I don't know Ooh. what to do with this. Possess. Why does this always happen to me? All I wanted was to go home and get a nice dinner and. Okay. Be patient with her. She's upset. She's not used to dealing with scenes like this. I oh, and is that blood? I can't even imagine. Look at his family. And I can't even believe that I'm doing all of this right now. This is just. to find more clues. That's a dead body right there. 
I could never do what she does. Why are cops so tight-lipped? Don't they know publicity will help them? Pretty interesting. What a night, huh, Robinson? Yeah. Crazy. Ronan. Unbelievable. I don't get it. What was he even doing here? Asking for it. A witness called in saying he saw the bell killer into her building. Ronan responds, disregards orders for backup. <laughs> Next thing you know, the bell killer tried to see if he could make him sprout angel wings. And then bam, 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 bam. You really Seven to the chest. You really Point have, blank. You really have no idea when to quit, do you, Baxter? <laughs> you ever take a look at those tattoos of his? All that gangland prison crap? He was more criminal than cop. Yeah, he lived like a thief, you die like a thief. He was still a badge, dickhead. Influence her now then. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. That man in the hood. Outside. Uh, looking up at, at the top apartment on the fourth floor, I think. As far as I have understood the game properly, now I have to make a deduction about how it, how it went down. So let's see. The apartment up there must have some clues. So that's my way in. That's or maybe not. Fantastic. Well, here's my chance. I just need to follow Stuart into the building. Well, then we just go in and take a peek. Hey, Sarge, 1019. Please return to the scene. 10 4. Ooh, that looks pretty. thing and that makes you special always looking out the window sticking your nose in everyone else's business so far it's pretty interesting that you're really a ghost you can do with it whatever you please That's pretty interesting. I'm so hey. confused. If I can just find it, then at least I'll know what happened. I've looked everywhere. Why did they do this to me? What if I never find it? If I only knew who it was, maybe I'd know where to look. I guess you have to help people get their peace, or what, whatever you want to call it. You look lost. What's lost is my body. I know I got killed right here. And I know it sounds crazy, but but I'd feel a lot better if if I knew where my body was. Are you a detective or something? You might be my only hope. Yeah, I'm a detective. Any idea who did it? 
that might lead us to your body. I know they were old people, and old I know people? they Wasn't lived just in, in the room this of old apartment people? building. Other than that, everything is hazy. But I was doing a lot of drugs at the time. Sounds like you do need a detective. I'll see what I can find out from any older residents of the building. Well, I think I'm gonna head back then. Because I strongly believe that those were two elderly people. paper when Grace hit her. I still can't believe she died. It happened so fast. I've never seen Grace well, I guess it's before. bingo. It must have been the lack of sleep. Thank God it's all over. I can finally watch TV in peace. Right now I'm just trying to figure out if there's more clues to this story. Basically, where you can find the details of the clues that you find out. Yeah. What do we have here? So I still need a clue, but I'm not really sure on how to get it. Hi. 
Honey, they can probably hear you talking through the ceiling. I hope they do. Every time we visit Jennifer, we're supposed to be the Second, and then the gardening tools is third. Okay, that's not it. Okay, we'll try this one again. Huh. Looks like Grace couldn't take the girls partying anymore, so she killed her and roped her husband into helping dump the body at Smithwood Colliery. I should get back and let her know. Well, it looks like we solved our first investigation. Turns out, the reason you can't find your body is because it's not in the building. It's at Smithwick Quarry, about five miles out of town. Oh. Well, why'd they do it? Your parties were keeping them awake at night. They finally got too tired and snapped. I, I thought they were just being unreasonable. I didn't know they would do this. <sighs> Thanks for your help. You have no idea how big a relief it is just knowing. No problem. You know, I never really liked cops. And they were always giving me shit, telling me how I was messing up my life. We never saw eye to eye on things. But you really came through for me. Probably should have listened to what they were trying to tell me. Maybe then things wouldn't have ended up like this. Thanks again. Oh, you're welcome. Now, with that said, I think it's a nice timing to stop this video for today. I hope you all enjoyed the gameplay. And like I said before, the reason that I didn't talk much was because I want to give you guys the opportunity to listen to the story. Um, if you want to see more of this, be sure to hit that like button. Comments are always appreciated. And if you want to see more, be sure to sus subscribe. Well, sorry for messing up like that. Okay, also, a little note uh, finally then. The, tomorrow my YouTube channel exists for one year exactly and I will do my best to bring out a special video for you guys and in which I want to thank each and every one of you personally. At least try to do it. Okay, well, stay good, stay safe, have a nice day.